What's up guys? I'm back with another video for sublimation. But before I get started, I need you to hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell for you won't miss the notification for when I upload. And of course, make sure you like and comment. So let's get started. I had a couple people asking me about the last video I did when I was trying to do the t-shirt template. I thought I put this in the video, but evidently it didn't. I went back and watched it and I guess it wasn't like explaining much so i'm gonna try my best to explain it because i like i say i just be winging it y'all i don't be knowing measurements on nothing and like the only reason why i know how to do this i watched the video myself and man just i just follow his steps pretty much and i just kind of play with it i don't be knowing so uh i go to paint and um i upload this is how i get the picture big everybody want to know like how I do i get something print uh, that big and sliced so what what this does is um like for instance you'll upload a picture and this will slice the picture in half for you like and it will print out each section of the picture on a like on an 8 by 11 paper and you just gotta cut it out and piece it together like a puzzle so if i can get my camera to focus on. this is my way i don't know no other way if somebody else know other way, that is fine. If you see people um asking questions in the comment, please help them out. Cause uh if I left some out, if you know it, help them out put for me that we team. So uh don't come trying to bash nobody for not knowing everything. I'm just showing what I know. So I go to file and let me find that picture first. Okay, hold on. So I just go to file, find a picture. I'm hungry, y'all. I'm going to just do the one I got, pretty much. Okay, so this is my picture. Hold on. And right now, it's pretty big. So I go over here. Go to file. I go right here to print. Do you see print? And as you see the little arrow right here, you see over here, it got print, page setup, and preview. So you're going to go to page setup to how you want to change the layers in the picture. Okay, so right here. So right here. I just don't, I'm telling you, I don't know what I, be, I just be putting like numbers. So I've seen the man put a four. So I put a four, and then I put like let's just say um, five or ten or something like that. But I'm gonna do five first, and then and you notice how that changed. So I'm gonna do another number. So pay attention to this box. I still don't know what it means though. I'm just keeping a stack, which I just know it changes when I put the numbers in. So I'm gonna say nine. Okay, wait a minute. I'm hungry, y'all. I just got up and ate nothing. See, like, for instance, I'm going to move that four. So, I think the four is, like, whatever size it's going to be. You see how they gave it three lines now? But I got it by a nine, so let me put it back to one. And then, shit, my thing, y'all, let me come up. Y'all, I'm trying to hold the phone and record, so. Um... We just play with it, but see a two made a half for the screen. So I'm gonna go to one. I'm gonna change it. I don't know what it means. It says, I mean, it's like you put your number by blah two pages. I don't know. I'm finna show you though, but I don't be knowing. But this how I get it big. I just play with this, and then I'm gonna put it ten, and then it went big with one line. So. Let me show you what it's going to look like. So I say, okay. And I'm going to go back to file. And I'm going to go back to print. And then right there it says print preview. So 
This is what it looks like. It's just a preview of what it's going to look like on each paper. So, I just see one. It just, it tells me, like, see, it split it up. And you just got to put it together like a puzzle. So, that's how I get big like that. It's a lot of work, and it's not fun. So, when I, if I was to go to print, I'm going to push print. Now, watch how many damn pages that is. It's going to be like 20, 40 pages. So, that right there, the measurements I did was, let me see, print set up. Um, four by ten. So, I don't get that part, but it's going to print out 40 pages if you put that right there. So, I guess the more numbers you do on this side, it's going to print out more. I don't know. I don't really understand that, but I just kind of wanted to show y'all what I did. I don't be doing measurements i just kind of let it print out or whatever happen happens you get what i'm saying 40 pages that's a lot of pages so i'm like well they gotta be big but for a shirt i think i did somewhat like 20 pages i did like 20 pages for a shirt so four by four uh let's see what they do so go to print and preview print preview so if, if you notice it puts the picture's not cut off as much. So it might not be as big as you would like. I really don't know. Yeah, it, it's not a lot. So 4x4 four four is not a lot. It's not even big. See, it got so many blank pages. But it's not. It looks like it probably fit a toddler shirt pretty good. But that one's, let's see how many pages that is. So let's just say that was 16 pages. So four by four was 16 pages. But to me, it didn't show much. You know, like, I don't know, y'all. It just, just had to play with it. But in, if anybody know a better way, tell me too. Because this is all I know. So what I'm going to try to do now is do um, a blankie. I got my cardboard cut out and I got my blankie right here. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm going to come back. Okay, so I'm going to cover my cardboard with my blanket. I got some painter's tape, which I use for everything. And I'm just gonna try to tape the, the blanket to the back of it to try to make it like stretch. To hold the blanket down. I use a lot of painted tape uh, trying to put that picture together. It was a headache. I don't know, yeah, I might need some. I might need some regular tape. I don't have any regular tape, so. I'll make it do with what you got. And you, you know you need heat resistant tape, so that's the only reason why I'm using this painter's tape. 
things, you know. But don't let the tape get heated up because it leaves like a sticky residue. So I'm praying it doesn't. Might. But cardboard will get hot still. Hopefully this holds y'all. I don't know. I made the pictures too big for a shirt, so I like so I'm just gonna use it on something else, so put it together. I ain't wanna waste the paper. I made the shirt already. And I posted that. So y'all seen that, but I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I know y'all want another video. I do not want to do another video. That shit is hard. So I would not be doing all over shirts until I get me a beauty printer because <clears throat> to me I ain't got that many patients in the world it is not easy like for real so I hit it I'm hoping this hole. I don't know because this material don't stick for real with the tape. You know what I'm saying? So, fingers crossed. We just needed the hole to get out of the heat press. So now we got a lint roller. Get you a little lint roller from Dollar Tree. And then try to get all that out. Because it does like polyester material for some reason. When you press it, it leaves all this old crazy stuff. So, I'm going to use my heat tape. This looks a hot mess, so I don't know how this going to turn out because some of it, I cut too much paper and all this crazy mess.
excess tape off my pictures because I don't want to leave no residue. Of course, it's gonna have flaws, Lord, but first time for everything. I have supplemented on the blanket before, but not this big. I did something so like simple. So, oh Lord, I'm hot. Then we'll go to the early stage. So this is uh, the heat tape I got from Michaels. It's cheaper to buy it off Amazon because you get more for your money on Amazon. Make sure it's down when I be swerving it around. Okay, I'm back. Now, my battery died as usual. This mug is here, it's big. <sighs> okay, I gotta spread it all out on my table. Shit. Gotta spread it out all over my table. My battery will keep dying. So that what happened with the glass video, but I did get it all taped. So Praying this works out now. Does the paper seem like it got like um, air in it when you're sticking up in certain places? And I got it down as tight as I think. We're gonna find out they I'm trying to figure out how the hell I'm gonna do this because it's so fucking long. The box can bend, but I don't know if that will cause a problem with um shit. I need to clean up I want to keep moving it okay, I see something I had to 
Should I press it like this and just let it go? And just hold it. I need something to put between it. I'm so tired of doing that with the picture heating up. Yeah, I can't do this y'all. This is, I need a bit more room than a bigger heat press. Trying to learn to work with what I got though. That's the hard part. Okay. I'll put some paper everywhere. This is like a waste of money. I can really waste of money, huh? I'm gonna do better, I promise y'all. Y'all watch my videos, my ads, comment and stuff, man. Help me out. Okay. I feel like. They need to do a timer stuff. Phone. I don't even know what damn timer is on. gonna have lines in it bad because of the super fat of me having a business thing and all that
The way I'm thinking now, I'm, I don't want to get on the get on heat press. I'll clean it later. I'm about to be, ooh. Some muscles fucking with this damn thing. Okay. Okay, y'all. I'm gonna do that. I don't know if y'all wanna sit through all this. So I'm going to go ahead and keep pressing and I will show you the finished product. Okay, guys, I'm still over here subbing. Uh it's, it's not easy as I thought. Um flaws right now. I think it's going to be uneven because I really can't get it to bend in certain areas. So I don't know what's getting pressed, what I ain't getting pressed. I'm just trying to really go over every spot without over sublimating. So it is a freaking headache. But well, right here in the middle, I'm thinking because I can't really tell this. So but we just going to keep going in it. Bend it. I don't think I. I mean, I mean, it's not hard. I would just need bigger material. Uh, but I would recommend doing this if it's not real small. This is a pretty big side blanket. And. If you ain't got the patience, like, for real, don't do it. But I'm telling you, you're gonna be pissed off. So, I don't know how I'm gonna get that middle part subbed. This part here, all the way down the middle. I was able to do all edges. So, I got the middle part. I gotta figure out how I'm going to get that uh, subbed. I didn't think this through. Y'all yeah, know me, I just jump on camera like a food and try some shit but i am gonna get it i'm gonna get it i just be practicing and winging stuff so we just gotta stay motivated and we gotta finish it so i'm gonna come back okay now we just gotta figure out how to get these two spots in the middle got three in the middle thinking mm. I'm thinking paint tear that part because I mess everything up. Like I said, I didn't think a lot of this through. So, I feel like I 
this up already. So, kind of thinking I should just tape it uh, to the blanket first, but I'm kind of happy I didn't because if, if you see the flaws now, the paper is bending on the sides, so it wouldn't have stayed straight. So, I'm just praying that. I don't know. But so far, you seen what I did. I just took the backing off of the blankie. So now I'm just going to try and see will it, you know, sublimate right through the middle. Because everything is already sublimated. I don't know if it's going to make double lines. I don't know nothing. But we shall see. I'll be back. Okay. I had to come back on, show you flaws. Uh, praying it doesn't mess up, but. As you can see, stuff start coming down over here. So I just kind of balled it up and and um, try to wing it from there. Because the blanket is not really attached to it no more. So, anyway. No more paper, I'm gonna put it down. trying to anyway but I just don't want it to anyway we just, we just wing it next time I know not to do it so big but flaws for me <sighs> get you some butcher paper <laughs> uh, make sure it's take down very evenly I would do sections, I guess, if I had to do it all over again. I probably would have pieced it like a puzzle onto the thing as I heated it up. I don't know how that would have turned out, and I don't want to find out, but I don't know. The bigger thing I can tell you is get a bigger uh, heat press, a bigger printer. But this right here, baby. Mm -mm. But it, it's cool, you know what I mean? If you're on a budget, and if you can figure out more other ways to do it, that's the way to go. But right now, baby, mm -mm. okay, let's find out our flaws. Right now, I see the bed through the back, and I gotta take oh my blankie. I gotta go back and heat that up. One big old piece missing. So, it's messed up. <laughs> it's missing my whole face, like, my eye look all twitched because of the blankie had moved once I took the thing off. Dang it, man. It would have been pretty. But it's lost for next time. Okay. So by the blankie end up moving when I took it off the cardboard. It did that. Missing a spot down there that I didn't heat up. Uh, so yeah, I tried. It looks kind of retarded, my baby. Okay, look, I just came up with something just that quick. Okay, look, um, you see how only the edge is pressed perfect, kind of, or whatever. When we get ready to put it together as a puzzle on paper, how about just do not attach the middle part with the the piece you put together on paper like when you're taping your paper and everything up leave the middle part out that way when you press it with the heat press you come back in with the pieces that you did not uh tape together and then you um tape you know put them on the um blankie and press them 
I like tape them in their spot they're supposed to go. Piece it as a puzzle once you get on the heat press for the middle part, if that makes sense. That's what I'm going to try next because I just thought of that. I was like, well, dang, how can I get it? So everything else around the edges seemed to have worked fine. If I, you know, I know my flaws for the edges. So when I piece it together as a puzzle from now on, I would just leave out the middle because it's harder to get to it with my mini press or whatever. And I do have a, a 15 by 15 press. So, I would say, leave the middle out, press everything else, like put it together like a puzzle, press it, and then go back and tape the middle parts in after you take it off the cardboard, because it'll be just on the blanket. That way, I'm going to do another video, but anybody that want to try it from after watching this video, hey, go ahead, but you see what I'm saying, like, just piece it as a puzzle at the end uh, for the middle. But, uh, yeah, y'all comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell. Let me know how I did. Love you. Y'all have a blessed one.